so whatever surface na imong gamiton outside the the spherical surface we still get the same uh, electric flux diba that is still equal to q over epsilon sub naught okay so ang gauss's log yun is actually equal to this one that electric flux is just equal to the total enclosed charge divided by epsilon sub naught for any surface of any shape of any size provided na it is a closed surface so some book para dili dili sila malibog ang mga students so ang, ang integration is over the surface they actually use a circle meaning that over a closed surface here on the integral okay so yeah so that's it now the closed surface in Gauss's law is actually called the Gaussian surface so Gaussian surface are just uh, imaginary surface wherein you will find the the electric flux for that specific surface depende nimo okay so any shape of any size as long as it is a closed surface a Gaussian surface is a closed surface okay so how about if na akay closed surface pero walay enclosed na charge so this means na your electric flux is equal to zero your net electric flux kasi yung enclosed charge mo is zero so zero divided by epsilon sub naught so basically wala siyang electric flux for closed surface enclosing no charge now how about for a charge that is outside our gaussian surface suppose this is my gaussian surface Okay, then my charge is here located, pero yung closed surface mo is walang, uh, walang charge sa sulod, what will happen is the total electric flux inside this one is zero. Okay, so let me show you how. So suppose, uh, I will just put it here, okay. So suppose, inan ito siya, no? inan na siya, so mura siya og bin. Okay, so ito yung positive mo, tapos ito yung uh, electric field mo so again remember ha remember that the electric field lines uh, <clears throat> the electric I mean the normal unit vector or the vector area is pointing on always perpendicular to the surface okay so perpendicular to the surface so suppose na ako ito look electric field lines nga ni penetrate aning a uh, irregular surface so what will happen is that for this three surface uh, for these three electric field lines it cancel out niya ni dire kay nga naman kay for example this one is your e assuming that your e is uniform huh? so positive e so we have e tapos dot n hat da then the the angle between for this uh, for this side side one so can i say this side one for this side one for this specific na electric field lines i will show you how nga no mag cancel out ang electric flux so here e da cosine of phi so the angle between e and da is actually equal to zero degrees so we have positive e da so on this side meron kang outward flux so for this other side what will happen is we have e da cosine of phi then therefore we have here uh what is the angle between the electric field chaka yung da mo so da is in that direction tapos yung e mo is pasulod so the angle between them is 180 degrees you have e da uh we have here sin a uh, one cosine of 180 degrees negative so the outward flux cancels out exactly the inward flux so if you add all of them so that's why there is no electric flux if the charge is outside the uh the gaussian surface so this means na uh i mean what I mean is that the charge is mag contribute to flux on the side of the 
surface. However, ang total flux niya is zero. So, we are talking about here the net flux, not the individual flux. It's equal to zero. Okay? So, that's it. That's the... Uh, so, let's have some sample problem. So, we have to find electric flux through each closed surface. So, we have A, B, C, and D. Find electric field lines produced by an electric dipole. So, we have surface A, B, tapos may C tayo, itong violet, tsaka yung orange is actually D. So, again, using this equation, so, we can, uh, using Gauss's law, we can find electric flux of any of that surface, di ba? So, basta alam mo lang yung yung net charge. Okay, so sa so surface A mo, so for surface A, we have here uh, surface A, I mean the electric flux to surface A is equal to pilaman. How much is that? So that is equal to Q in close over epsilon sub naught. So, ano yung enclosed na charge mo sa surface A? So, that is positive Q. So, we can have positive Q over epsilon sub naught. And that's it. That's the flux of the surface A. How about surface B? What is the enclosed charge? That is negative Q. So, negative Q over epsilon sub naught. And that's it. That's the flux through uh, surface B. How about surface C? Dali lang kayo siya, di ba? So, surface C, we have here... Uh, Kaning violet, so unsa na yung total enclosed the charge. So we have positive Q plus negative Q, so zero. So zero divided by epsilon sub naught, so wala siya electric flux for net, uh, wala siya total electric flux for surface C. How about for surface D? So surface D, wala man siya charge sa sulod. So basically, the net electric flux is zero. Okay? So, ang pasabot na ko niya is the net electric flux, okay? Because it is uh, na may gap electric flux ang imuhang surface D and C, but the net electric flux is zero. So, how about you have to find electric flux through each of the closed surfaces in the figure below? So, atong pangitaon. So, the S1 is here, kanisha. Nabasya closed surface, wala. I mean, nabasya yung closed charge, wala. So basically, wala. So the net flux through S1 is zero. How about S2? So S2 is this one, this oblong here, or some initial shape. So iyahang na enclosed na charge is a negative 7 microcoulomb, then si positive 9 microcoulomb, tapos si positive 5 microcoulomb. So what is the electric flux? So basically, electric flux for S2. is equal to electric flux for S2 is equal to the net charge so the Q in close divided by epsilon sub naught then we have here Q in close as C negative 7 microcoulomb plus the 9 microcoulomb plus C5 microcoulomb add lang ni mutanan ang nasa sulod ni surface 2 Divided by 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12. Uh, Say mong epsilon sub naught. Is it negative 12, no? So, I think it is negative 12. So, can I see? Sa, yeah, it is 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12. So, but the micro column is times 10 to the negative 6. Okay, so I will just put it here so 14 minus 7 then we have 7 times 10 to the negative 6 column divided by the 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12 then what we have is 7 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12 that is equal to 7 7 
so seven nine zero nine six zero okay so that is newton per column times meter squared okay so that is approximately equal to one two three four five so in scientific notation times 10 raised to five is it five one two three four five yeah newton per column times meter squared okay so ano lang that is how how you do it uh, the how you apply how apply gauss's law so how about for surface three so surface three this is this one so we have 9 micro column plus 1 micro column then you had negative 10 micro column is 0 so 0 divided by epsilon sub naught is 0 so there is no electric flux or there is no net electric flux through s3 then how about for s4 s4 is we have 8 micro column minus 7 micro column is 1 micro column so we have the electric flux through s4 is we have 8 micro column then minus 7 micro column divided by 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12 then we have 1 micro column or 1 times 10 to the negative 6 column divided by 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12 so what we have here is equal to how much is that so i will just compute it so that is 112,994, then that is Newton per column times meter squared. So that is approximately equal to 1.12 or 3 approximately times 10 raised to 5 Newton per column meter squared. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, 1.13. Okay, so yun lang. That's how you do, that's how you apply the Gauss's law. So diba, dali lang kayo. So about the surface 5, so surface 5 covers all the charges, so we just have to add all of them. So we have 8 minus 7, 1, plus 5, 6, so ito, 9 plus 1 is 10, so minus 10 is 0. So what's left is we have 6, so 6 microcolumns. So you add lang natin mo tanan, so you will get that the electric flux through S5 is we have here. 6 so 6 micro column divided by 8.85 the epsilon sub naught then we have here 6 times 10 to the negative 6 column divided by 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12 that is equivalent to how much so 6 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by the epsilon sub naught times 10 to the negative 12 then that is equivalent to 677,966 newton per column times meter squared or that is in scientific notation 6.8 times 10 to the 5 newton per column meter squared okay so yeah that's the advantage of gauss's law in finding the electric flux through any uh through any closed surface so you will not go through the integral now okay so the integral here to find the the uh, electric flux so you just have to use this one okay okay dali ito diba so how about this one so a point charge q is 5 micro column is located at the center of a cube of edge l 0.100 meter in addition six other identical point charges having negative 1 micro column are positioned symmetrically around Q as shown. Determine the electric flux through one phase of the cube. So through one phase, so basically just have to add all of them. Then find the the total enclosed charge. So same lang gihapon sa kong last time. So the electric flux the total electric flux through a cube is equal to add all of them so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 so natay 6 ka buok nga negative 1 micro column then how much is the amount what is the amount of q that is 5 micro column then divide both sides by 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12 diba so we have here 6 
times negative 1 microcoulomb is negative 6 plus 5. We have negative 1 times 10 to the negative 6 column divided by 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12. So that is equivalent to how much? So we have here, same lang sa taas, di ba? Katong 1, ito lang tong e. So that is 1.13 times 10 to the 5. So 1.13 times 10 to the 5. Is it? Mayroon pa lang nila? So yeah. 1.13 times 10 to the 5. Then we have here, Newton per column. Again, ash. So we have here Newton per column times meter squared. But this is uh, actually for the uh, for the total cube. But ingon man siya nga one face of the cube lang. Remember, there are six faces of the cube. So what you're going to do, the one face of the cube is just equal to one six of the total flux of the cube. Okay, total. So we just have to divide this our negative 1.13 times 10 raised to 5 with 6. So divide that by 6. So how much is that? So we have 0 0.18 or 19 negative times 10 to the 5 uh, newton over meter, a uh, newton per column times meter squared. Okay, so that's how you do it. Okay, so negative na flux means inward, meaning pasulod ang iyahang electric field. Okay, inward flux. So yes, that's it. That's how you apply Gauss's law uh, using uh, the total amount of enclosed charge on any shape or any size of the Gaussian surface as long as it is a closed surface. Now, so Gauss's law is actually like uh, uh, one way to find electric field, diba? Right? So not only it will find electric field, it can also find the charge distribution of a certain continuous charge distribution. Okay, it could be a charge density could be a surface charge density a line charge or a volume charge density okay so but before applying uh, before using Gauss's law in calculating electric field I would just uh, ako lang ning isay bit ning properties of a conductor in electrostatic condition so in electrostatic condition if magbutang ganitag excess charge atong solid conductor okay Ang tanan ng mga excess charge resides entirely on the surface and not in the interior of the material. Okay? So, dito na siya sa surface sa imuhang conductor. So, dili lang siya solid conductor ha, even a hollow conductor. Kung hollow ka ng, kaya ito sa basketball, ganyan na, 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 shape. So, hollow conductor, ang sulod kihangin, a hangin. Okay, so, it resides entirely on the surface and not in the interior of the material. Okay? So, as long as it is in electrostatic condition, then another property of a conductor in electrostatic condition is the electric field at every point on the surface of a conductor is equal to sigma over epsilon sub naught and it is always perpendicular to each of the surface sa imuhang conductor so equal siya sa magnitude always sigma over epsilon sub naught sa conductor na nimo okay and then next one is the electric field e at every point in the interior of a conducting material is zero kay ngano man kay since niingon naman ka sa pinakataas na Ang imuhang excess charge, basta i-place siya sa solid conductor, is naa siya sa surface, on the surface, bilang naa siya sa gawas. Kung kwao ni mo ang electric field sa sulod sa material, that is actually equal to zero. Okay? At every point in the interior of a conducting material is zero. 
because of this uh, excess charge nga na that's a solid conductor di ba so that's how you do that uh, equation okay so that's gas's law so please remember that one because we have to apply usually gases law in a conductor or in an insulator so insulator put like siya electrostatic condition and i will tell you on sa to na mga ele electrostatic condition niya okay so conductor lang ta kay because uh na naman siya daan okay so i mean facts na siya ba nga mao na niya mga properties in electrostatic condition okay yeah Yes. Question? Okay, na so wala. So yeah, that's the properties of a conductor. Okay? So now let's apply Gauss's law in calculating electric field at for a continuous charge distribution. So usually here mga volume atong ginakuan, okay? We are talking about volume charge density, but dili lang ta mag uh, mag mahad look because dili naman ta mag integrate integrate okay so we will just uh, use the gauss's law na katong na kani okay so kani nga equation so this is the gauss's law equation kani siya okay we will use this one using the symmetry properties of our uh, conductor okay so example if we place a total positive charge Q on a solid conducting sphere with radius R, find E at any point inside or outside the sphere. So, ang positive charge Q kagipotang sa solid sphere nga conductor, so meaning, ang imuhang positive charge will reside entirely on the surface. As you can see here, na just sa surface tanan. Okay? So, next. Then... We have to find out the electric field at any point inside or outside the surface. So, how to do that one? So, to do that one, so we have here, uh, we have here a radius R, a solid conductor, and a radius R. So, iyahang mga, mga, mga charges are on the surface on the solid conductor, diba? So, we have to find the electric field inside or outside the sphere. So, kung inside, so, just by using the property of the conductor, so, by conductor properties in electrostatic condition, so, what will happen is that the electric field inside is zero. That is for R less than R. Okay? So, mo nang iyahang uh, condition sa property. So, conductor mani siya. So, wala siya electric field sa solod. How about for outside? So, we just have to use the uh, Gauss's law. E dot DA is equal to the enclosed charge divided by epsilon sub naught. So, but before that, before again using the conductor, I'm uh, using the Gauss's law, we have to make a Gaussian surface, which is in symmetry with our, with our, uh, our charge distribution. Kasi sphere ito, so meaning yung ating, uh, ating Gaussian surface is actually sphere dapat, di ba? I, by the way, May tatlong Gaussian surface nga usually used as a Gaussian surface to find electric field. So, we have actually the spherical symmetry. So, if naakay distribution na, na spherical symmetry, then you will use sphere as your Gaussian surface. Nabuta ginatawag ng cylindrical symmetry. So, if if you have a charge distribution nga na ay cylindrical symmetry, then you will use a cylinder as a Gaussian surface. Napud tay plane symmetry. So this plane symmetry is if na akay uh, charge distribution nga uh, uh, symmetric with a plane, then you will use the uh, a peel box. So more siya Gaussian peel box. So more siya kanang utanganan sa mga kuan tablet. Okay? 
kanang mga tabletas or mga kapsula na. So, muna tayo itawag Gaussian pill box. Itawag ganun niya. So, you have a Gaussian sphere, Gaussian cylinder, tsaka Gaussian fill box. So, these are usually three uh, Gaussian surface na na-use because they they exhibit uh, symmetry properties. Okay? So, balik tayo dito. So, here, since atong sphere is a uh, And since atong conductor is a sphere so we will use a sphere a spherical symmetry kay symmetric man siya okay so sa sulod if we have to find electric field sa sulod what will happen is that your E so the Gauss's law E dot DA the integral is equal to Q in close over epsilon sub naught So, there is no Q enclosed here. So, what will happen is the electric flux is zero. Meaning, kung electric flux ni mo is zero, what will happen is your electric field is equal to zero, the total electric field. So, meaning there is no electric field inside the Gaussian surface. Na inside. How about the outside Gaussian surface? So, suppose na siya radius R. Okay, itong Gaussian surface mo with respect sa, sa center sa imuhang solid conducting sphere. So, by using the the equation sa Gaussian surface, so we have E dot DA. Then we have here Q in close divided by epsilon sub naught. Okay? So, anong na-enclose na charge sa kwan sa outside outside surface. Now remember, yung solid conducting sphere mo kay na ay charge nga positive Q. So mo na yung excess charge. So therefore, ang imuhang enclosed to charge is just positive Q. So we can replace Q enclosed as positive Q. So we have E dot DA. Then we have here Q over epsilon sub naught. Now kay since ang imuhang Gaussian surface is a sphere so the DA of that sphere is actually equal to 4 pi r squared so E times 4 pi r squared so why 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 did I put E outside the integral again ang Gauss's law is uh, is para ma para ma eliminate tong mga long derivation of integral so nag need siya og, og, og ka ng symmetry properties diba? so symmetry properties kasi if I have a Gaussian surface na symmetric with the with the continuous charge distribution what will happen that at any point on that Gaussian surface ang iyang makuha na electric field is constant okay so that is why pwede siya mapagawa sa Uh, Gaussian in ay sa imuhang integral. Okay? So, the DA of that of that uh, Gaussian surface is just 4 pi tapos yung radius nga r nga gamay. Okay? So, which is equal to Q over epsilon sub naught. And therefore, ang iyang electric field is actually equal to Q over 4 pi epsilon sub naught R squared. So, mo na siya. Inana siya ka dali. Basta magkuhan ka Gaussian integral. Okay? So, kay since ang imang electric field is a vector quantity, so we will also uh, tanaw na to sa yung direction. So, that is 1 over 4 pi Q over R squared. Then, that is R hat. R hat means it is radially outward. So, the electric field produced by this positive Q is actually outward. Okay, outward na siya. So, pa, uh, radially outward R hat. So, you can actually, uh, delete lang kaning nga kuan ha, Gaussian, pwede mo nang padakon, niya na ay radius R. So, it doesn't matter man gihapon because according to, to the Gauss's law, it is independent of the closed surface. Depende lang siya sa enclosed surface. So, As you can see here, cutting electric field outside na yung nakuha is actually the electric field of a point charge. So as you can see, parang yung electric field produced by this 
a solid conducting sphere is para siyang point charge na may uh, na may amount of charge as positive Q. Diba? So, yun na siya ka-tindod. Okay? So, that's it. That's the uh, R greater than R. So, yeah. I, I mean, ito lang, itong R na to ha is actually the a Gaussian surface inside kasi sa Gaussian surface may R naman din siyang isa. Okay? So, dili siya equal sa R o R dariha. So, ay lang magka -ibog. Okay? So, let's move on to the sample problem number 2. So, positive electric charge Q is distributed uniformly throughout the volume of, in of an insulating sphere with radius R. So, find the magnitude of the electric field at a point P, a distance R from the center of the sphere. Yeah. So, it is now an insulating sphere. Okay? So, how can we get the electric field at any point on the surface? So, meaning outside at saka inside of the uh, spherical insulator. So, yeah. So, since sphere man imong insulating sphere, nga na charge nga positive Q nga dako, so, we will use the spherical symmetry because it is symmetric to the charge distribution. Okay? So, ang imuhang sphere is na siya volume charge density which is constant rho. Okay, so rho so, yeah, we have to find the electric field at any point. So, how to do that? So, we have here electric. Uh, this is the insulating sphere. Ngan ay positive charge Q. Again, dili siya same property sa imuhang electric ay imong conductor nga in electrostatic condition. Ang imuhang any net charge will be reside on the surface. But for an insulator, that's not the case. So, distributed na siya anywhere on the on the insulator ang imuhang excess charge okay so naalang siya ay charge density nga rho which is constant so ang iyang charge is positive q so we have to find electric field inside so meaning inside r is less than the radius r and the also the outside so we have to find so first sa inside we have to calculate uh, we have to draw a gaussian sphere okay inside okay inside draw a gaussian sphere okay here so then move on to calculating with the gauss's law e that da is equal to q in close over epsilon sub naught so yeah now the q enclosed again is we don't know anything about what's the enclosed charge of the of the gaussian surface inside the insulator okay but we know that na shy volume charge density na rho so to do that actually we can find the ratio okay so the volume charge density is actually equal to q over the volume so the total volume over the the total charge diba so kay since part naman siya sa imuhang volume charge i mean sa imuhang uh emulsion surface is part naman siya sa imuhang insulating sphere gamay lang pagwa tag gamay ba so we have to take the ratio of the enclosed charge divided by the enclosed volume okay so i'm not so we cannot find the enclosed charge for that charge inside the uh, for the charge inside the Gaussian surface inside the insulating. So we will use this equation if we have an insulator. Okay, kay kung uh, kung conductor ni siya, automatic zero kay according to electrostatic condition man, di ba? So now the Q enclosed can be written as we have V enclosed then we have qt divided by vt okay so the total volume ang pasabot lang ani magkuha tag gamay nga part sa imuhang total volume charge density 
So, what is the volume enclosed? So, the volume enclosed, suppose ang imuhang Gaussian sphere can I reduce nga R. So, that is the volume enclosed is we have 4 thirds pi R cube because meaning an uh, enclosed nga volume. And the total charge is, what is the total charge of the insulating sphere? That is positive Q. So, Q. Kung da kung Q. And the total volume is equal to 4 thirds pi. Kato ng dako nga R. Mama na yung total nga volume sa imuang sphere. Diba? Kanang dako nga R. So, cancel 4 thirds pi. So, we have here Q. Then, we have R cube over R cube. Okay? So, that's actually our enclosed nga charge. So, do not... Ayaw lang mo ka libog aning Q enclosed tapos dako nga Q ha kay same na na sila just annotation na na. So when R is less than R meaning the electric field inside so we have E so we can take E outside kay ano gani because any point on the surface on a Gaussian uh, surface as long as it is symmetric to the uh, Gaussian uh, the charge distribution that is equal then DA so DA of the sphere is 4 pi r squared. Okay, so that is r squared is equal to, what is the Q enclosed? The Q enclosed is this one. So we have Q times r cube divided by r cube nga dako over epsilon sub naught. Diba? So divide both sides by 4 pi r squared. So what's left is equal to Q over 4 pi epsilon sub naught then we have here r then r cube nga dako okay so that's it that's the electric field magnitude inside the insulating sphere what is the direction that is r hat since radially outward man ang imuhang ang imuhang uh, imuhang direction dali meaning Pagawas siya kay positive Q man siya. Okay? So, this is our electric field. Okay? Kung negative po ang imuhang, imuhang a total charge, then negative R hat po yung mutang din, meaning inward ang iyahang electric field. Okay? So, how about outside? So, dali itang outside. So, if uh, we have to make again a Gaussian surface outside the insulating sphere, to find the electric field outside and I reduce nga say R I reduce nga R diha di ba? so when R is greater than R meaning outside the insulating sphere so what's uh, we have to compute the electric field using Gauss's law EDA is equal to what is the Q in close so, the Q enclosed is actually the total charge of the sphere, which is the positive Q. So, we have Q over epsilon sub naught. Then, same gihapon that your E is constant all over this Gaussian surface. Do we have E? Then, the DA is 4 pi R squared. So, R squared is katung surface area sa imuhang Gaussian surface. Then, we have Q over epsilon sub naught okay so therefore your electric field outside the gaussian or the insulating sphere is q over 4 pi epsilon sub naught r squared and this is in the direction of r hat meaning radially outward positive ang imuhang uh, insulating sphere okay so, kung atong tanaw niya yung relationship sa imuhang electric field of distance, so we have electric field as our uh, magnitude, tapos R as our distance. So, what will happen inside? Okay? So, inside is, ang imuhang electric field inside is linearly siya. Meaning that the electric field increases linearly and then at the boundary of the I on the surface at the boundary 
So money siya at the boundary what will happen is it will goes like this so it will increase uh, it will be uh, the electric field decreases of 1 over r squared so increases linearly with r but as you can see here outside may mo siyang r squared so meaning kung magkalayo ta sa insulating sphere we can see a point charge okay with equal to this uh with with an electric field equal to q over 4 pi epsilon not r squared okay so yeah that's the uh, sample problem number two okay how about this one so we have a solid conducting sphere of radius a carries a net positive charge 2q then we have a conducting spherical shell of inner radius b and outer radius c so shell meaning na atay duha ka radius so inner radius tsaka si outer radius okay and it is concentric with a solid sphere so concentric meaning they have the same center and carries a net charge of negative q so yung kung spherical shell mo sa gawas hollow sphere is na asyay mm, na asyay charge ng negative q and imuhang solid conducting sphere sa sulod is na asyay charge na positive 2q so using Gauss's law find electric field in regions 1 2, 3 and 4 ok so let's do that so we have to find the radius i mean the electric field in regions one two three and four okay so we have a solid conducting sphere nga na ay positive 2q then we have here a a spherical shell okay sorry delicate siya ano spherical shell nga na ay charge nga negative q so we have here a radius B ang inner radius ni mo sa mong shell tapos ang outer radius is C then ang imuhang radius sa imuhang uh, conducting sphere is A okay so how to do that so we have to find regions 1 so region 1 is here 2 tsaka 3 and then 4 okay so for region 1 that is when r is less than a so that is our region 1 so we have to use a gaussian sphere okay because it is semi insymmetric with our charge distribution a solid conducting sphere okay so r less than a so meaning my radius siya na r dito sa sulod so we have to find the electric field okay since solid conducting sphere man ito so there is no charge inside so therefore the electric field is zero inside the conductor always gonna show zero in the conductor inside the conductor how about for region 2 for region 2 this is outside the uh, when R this, this is when so we have to make a Gaussian surface and a radius R so this is when R is less than a uh, greater than a but less than B okay mo na siyang region okay so we have to find the electric field so using the Gauss's law so E dot da then we have here q in close divided by epsilon sub naught then here e is constant over the surface we have e tapos yung da mo for a spherical surface is 4 pi r squared for a gaussian surface in a sphere kani then the Q enclosed is actually positive 2Q. Okay, mo man enclosed niya. So we have positive 2Q divided by epsilon sub naught. And then E is equal to 2Q 
over 4 pi epsilon sub nat r squared. Okay? So, the, uh, the since positive yung ano mo, yung 2q, ay yung charge ng solid conducting sphere mo. So, it is r hat mean radially outward or you can actually simplify further. So, actually, pwede la, pwede pwede dito tayo mag-stop yung answer or you can simplify as we have q over 4 ay 2 pi epsilon sub nat r squared so either way correct or gapo na siya nga answer okay so it doesn't matter so yeah that is region 2 how about region 3 so region 3 that is inside the, the spherical shell so dito siya so we have to find the inside the conducting spherical shell so that is in radius again radius r so in region 3 so we have here r greater than b but less than c so that is inside the spherical shell okay so again using the Gauss's law we have e that da then we have here q in close over epsilon sub nat then remember yung spherical shell mo is a conductor and then and your gaussian surface is actually uh actually on the i inside the conductor so we can say Nga yung electric field mo is actually zero. Okay? King ano man. So I will tell you why. So remember that na kay positive 2 Q dili, di ba? Na total charge. So therefore, ang imuhang, imuhang negative Q is actually gikuaan na siya ni positive 2 Q. For example, at the surface on the, the charge on the inner surface, of the shell is actually equal to negative 2q nga naman mao naman na ang makaya nga kwao ni positive 2q i-attract ni positive 2q ang amount of charge on the surface as negative 2q now how to get the surface uh, the charge outside the spherical shell so remember meron siyang negative q na na total charge so using the the ano the the conservation of charge we have the qt total charge is we have the inner plus the outer charge outer so we have here inner is negative 2q we already knew that but outer is say x we don't know anything about the outer so that is equal to negative Q which is the total charge of the shell. So ito yung total charge ng shell meaning inner plus outer. So what is your outer? That is equal to How much is that? That is equal to positive Q. Okay, so meaning your outer charge has positive Q on the surface. At saka yung, yung inner charge mo is my negative 2q on the surface. Now, if we will uh, find the, the enclosed charge of your Gaussian surface in region 3, what will happen is we are adding actually positive 2q and negative 2q and the net charge is actually equal to 0. Then therefore, the electric field is actually 0. And of course, because of that also, your, electri your Gaussian surface is inside the conductor so we can uh, without knowing the charge inside the uh, on the inner surface of the shell we can we can quickly uh, conclude na yung electric field mo is zero on the uh, inside the conductor okay so moment on region three how about region four so region four is yung outside sa two two uh, conductor mo so we have r greater than c so we have to make a gaussian surface so i will make a gaussian surface outside okay so 
so I will just put it outside so sorry gubot na kayo so remember to to draw a Gaussian surface ha when you are actually uh, if nami assignment ngin ani so naka radius r so which is a variable so mag change change na siya anywhere okay so we have here again using the Gauss's law e dot da okay is actually equal to q in close divided by epsilon sub not okay atong pagam yun kay gamay ra ba tong nakuanan nga nga notation over epsilon sub not so the q in close of this region 4 is we just have to add all of them so we have 2q 2q plus negative q so ito lang yung charge na na ano nya na na oh, what is this 2q plus negative q that is positive q diba so we have here Yeah, so that is positive Q. So we have here uh, So we have here Positive Q Over epsilon sub not Kasi yung total charge in close is 2Q Plus negative Q which is equal to positive Q So again, electric field is constant So we can take that outside the integral then dA is 4 pi r squared kasi sphere kasi yung Gaussian surface natin. It is equal to Q over epsilon sub nat. So the electric field is actually equal to Q over 4 pi r squared epsilon sub nat r hat. Okay, so ito yung outside the uh, surface. So makita natin na kung mulayo ta sa ito ang two conducting sphere, so what will happen is makita na ito nga mula siya o point charge nga na ay charge nga positive Q. Okay? So if we will get the relationship between the radius R and the electric field, okay, what will happen? So we have to make a boundary. So boundary meaning uh, this is when R is equal to A. Then boundary again. Para makita na itong iyahang. This, this is R is equal to B. And boundary again. This is R is equal to C. Okay, so when R is equal to I. When R is less than A, what will, hap what will happen is 0. So, meaning ito yung electric field niya. So, my discontinuity. And then again, yung electric field mo between A and B will become like this. So, ito siya. Then, electric field mo between B and C is again 0. Tsaka the electric field outside is again ito na naman. Okay, so yeah. That's how you get the relationship of E and R using a uh, graphical method. Okay, so I will just answer sample problem number 4 in separate video and also this one.